What's up guys, opening a box of uh, 2016-17 Donruss basketball today. The first pack, uh, the packs are actually quite thick. So uh, the base card design uh, is a little bit uh, different this year than the years before, in particular this frame. Uh, of the card is a little bit uh, bigger and takes uh, more space uh, so uh, I'm actually not sure I like it uh, because uh, uh, it's not as cheap looking white frame and uh, than this uh, curtain insert because there are jerseys in this pro product like just to recognize just to make it more difficult to recognize that there is no jersey in this pack and a press proof insert of uh, champs is here so uh, the insert is not very interesting, it's actually uh, the same uh, design as the base card design, just go like champs is here. Uh, so uh, a lot of packs in this product, it's always a fun rip, or at least has been uh, in past years. And uh, I'm not sure, it's a little bit of a Christmas design, like uh, this uh, small pixels or wide like small pixels of snow or more like uh, pixels of cocaine I don't know like how do you recognize it and uh, actually the rocky card design is uh, slightly different from the base card design because uh, in the base card uh, the Donruss logo is in the left and then the rocky card design the Donruss uh, logo is on the right and uh, Mike Conley who is like probably one of the most overpaid uh, uh, players in the league and again the champs is here but it's not a uh, uh, insert but it's not press proof uh, this time again a plastic insert and uh, he has a numbered rocky card of uh, who's uh, diamond stone the, st uh, the font is actually quite difficult to read and the diamond stone is actually quite fat I'm not sure how did he make it to MBA and uh, Ron and Holly Jefferson and uh, Kyle Corver, amazing shooter, and uh, E.G. Miles. Uh, usually the base card set in Donruss is uh, smaller than in other uh, low-end products like Hoops and uh, uh, Prism. I think it's around 200 cards. Sometimes it's like 250 with Rockies or sometimes it's just like 200 with Rockies. And uh, they should be also rated Rocky cards, but I uh, somehow I don't see them. It's... Uh, Another uh, insert elite series. Uh, the insert this year seemed to be like very boring compared to hoops and uh, prism in Donruss, like just uh, largely the same technique and design as in uh, base cards, but just uh, code and insert. So I'm a little bit disappointed actually. Uh, Mano Ginobili, yeah, and usually a big advantage of Donruss is that you are able to complete the base set from only one box and the box usually costs like between 65 and 70 dollars on the release date, every Bradley and a curtain insert and another there seems to be an insert in every pack so that's uh, press proof inserts are quite boring as well because they j j actually not even inserts, just a parallels there is nothing different to the design of the card, just this press proof uh, over print and uh, the number out to, uh, of 299. And uh, also in terms of uh, numbered cards uh, in Donruss, it's usually more difficult to pull anything like low number than in uh, hoops or uh, prism. But um, I'm actually not sure if it's uh, reasonable to compare this product to Prism anymore because this is like seventy dollars a box. And uh, actually, like you see, like uh, the Rocky uh, uh, photo with Isaiah Whitehead is completely the same as in Prism. I actually have a it's Prism Rocky card here. Like you see, like <laughs> Panini like spends like uh, tons of imagination on like this photo shots. Uh, it's actually no, yeah. It's not completely the same. It's uh, uh, this uh, slightly earlier version of the photo. You see, his the bow is slightly before the end, and here the bow is just under the end. But like, 
uh, puts uh, a little bit more effort into it, like Panini. If you do a Rocky photo shot, and I uh, really, I should say, I really appreciate of Panini uh, doing Rocky photo shots. Like in Rocky photo shots, you can do like many pictures and uh, uh, not just one picture and use them like in different sets because it's super boring if uh, the same picture, uh, same photo, and all that. And here we have a Court Kings insert. This insert has actually a slightly different insert. It's not just a glossy like. Uh, uh, Brainless and a regular parts. It has a little bit of texture and court kings of Jahlilok. Four, it's uh, uh, not numbered. And uh, Al Horf Horford, I really appreciate it. It's already in a Saudex uniform. And uh, the back of the car is uh, actually a very simple, but like uh, I like it. There is some basic statistics and some interesting fact about Al Horford and Wesley Matthews and Dwight Howard. Already is an Atlanta Hawk and uh, Jack Levine and uh, so there is one or two inserts uh, in every pack and there should be one autograph and one jersey card in uh, each box. Uh, William Noel and Rocky Kings. I I'm not sure like uh, do they lack like imagination because they're like Court Kings, Rocky Kings. Uh, it's just, uh, it wouldn't be difficult to come up with uh, some, like, uh, a new name, like uh, Rocky Aces or something like that. Because it's uh, a little bit uh, boring to have uh, the same name for all inserts. Paul Gazelle, uh, Mal Malacha Richardson. Yeah, this fo the phone is actually quite annoying, especially for the players. If you know the player, like, you are able to recognize him. But uh, especially for rookies, uh, I don't know most of them, and it's really difficult to read this phone suite. And a press proof uh, of Clay Thompson, also number two, 299. Somehow it's interesting that uh, some packs have this uh, curtain inserts, but some uh, uh, to substitute for jersey, but, to, or, but some others don't. And uh, Demarek Carroll, Reggie Jackson. It seems that uh, there is uh, an insert in this. This is a wide insert. I'm not sure if it's jersey or if it's like an autograph. No, it's just an all stars. Again, um, nothing really stands out of. Uh, no holographic effects. No. I know some specific photos, so overall, like uh, the Donruss feels a little bit uh, boring this year compared to. Hoops and Prism. Last year Donruss was like really good and this year there should be like uh, some optic inserts in Donruss uh, but uh, for some reason uh, I think they're quite um, difficult to pull and they're similar to Topps Chrome in uh, their technology so it's more like Topps uh, and Hall King. So what did we have? Court Kings, Rocky Kings, Hall Kings. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, I don't know, are the editors of Panini like Lazy or, or what? Dwayne Wade uh, and Mario Herzonia. Uh, so far it's not um, as fun rip as I expected uh, because uh, the inserts are kind of boring and uh, also with this rocky cards, uh, this black background it looks uh, kind of uh, ugly because Panini does this uh, Rocky photo shots and some kind of the gym. Just having like a gym background would be so much better. Oh, the champ is here, Larry Bird. Uh, that has a little bit like different uh, design. And it's like, yeah, I like this much better black and white photo of uh, Larry Bird and them basic. That, that's not a bad card actually. Yeah, and so if you take a photo shot in the gym, like uh, just post it like in the in the gym, it's uh, the gym background is so much better than just like this plain black or white background they uh, they do in uh, hoops and prism. Of course, like the ideal like uh, scenario would be that like you do a photo sh a rocky photo shot in the gym. Yeah, no, that's even, even worse. But I should uh, like just not have a photo shot, just uh, a photo with a uh, uniform. Uh, the best, oh, that's Ben Simmons, yeah! So I'm getting him uh, in every, I got him in Prism. 
I got him in hoops. I go and got him like I get him in donuts. Of course, it would be nice to pull uh, his uh, parallel car, but I'm already satisfied with the Rocky and the crashers. Uh, yeah, not a kind of a boring insert implementation as well. Yeah. So uh, for the Rocky cards, uh, the best uh, scenario I think would be to do the Rocky photo shot in the gym and then just use a Photoshop to insert this uh, Rocky photo shot player uh, into the stadium. I think it would like look much more impressive and it wouldn't take that much much time actually. Joy Limbit and here yeah, this is a jersey court of oh that's actually an autograph uh, jersey of uh, Malik Beasley. Mm, yes yeah, the design is uh, kind of simple but uh, I find it quite aesthetic. I actually wonder if Malik Beasley uh, is related to Mike Beasley but uh, he doesn't seem to shave his underarms and uh, Michael Beasley does shave his underarms. That's actually uh, his autograph is also quite nice Malik and Beasley now number 275. I actually like this card uh, a lot. I, of, of course I would hope uh, that uh, mm, there wouldn't be mm, uh, a thicker out but a hard out but like uh, yeah it's a beautiful beautiful card otherwise and Jeremy Lin and uh, Josh Richardson. yeah this uh, signed jersey card even though it's like a plain jersey piece it's uh, uh, looks good and uh, especially it's uh, very nice to pull it out of a uh, Donata Damantas Sabonis who is actually the son of uh, Trailblazers legend Arvidas Sabonis uh, Chris Bosch and uh, Mark Gasol. Is it another jersey? Yeah, that's another jersey of uh, Mark Gasol jersey. Yeah, jersey kings. <laughs> like, I I'm sorry, but like, what are there any other names as like kings? Like, court kings, rocky kings, hall kings, like jersey kings. Like, <sighs> yeah, it's uh, quite a fail from Panini actually. Uh, Monte Ellis and uh, Gordon Hubbard and JJ Barea. So these were two hits uh, or promised for the box, but this of course on average, so maybe uh, hoping for some uh, other hits, although like in Donruss I think it's quite precise that if uh, they promise two hits you get two hits. And uh, this is uh, Dimes. That's also a strange like name for the insert, Dimes. Like, what does that mean? And also, it's not clear why do they uh, in the pack some cards are reverted. It's a little bit difficult to to shoot like a pack, like pack opening like this. Is this number no? Uh, Pearsons. Yeah, court kings. Why not aces or something? Uh, something, uh, other th something else. Yeah, overall, it feels to me like uh, Panini didn't put uh, that much effort into this box. And I mean into this product uh, because uh, base card design is not very successful with this very large frame and strange font. But and also the inserts are mostly boring. I like this autograph jersey insert, but uh, otherwise kind of uh, disappointing. Also, I find it disappointing that all three affordable uh, basketball products like uh, Donruss hoops and Prism come one after another so it's uh, you don't really uh, i think it would be much better like if they would be spread through the season because most of us like me we can't afford like buying like immaculate and flawless and national treasures it's also actually strange that all this immaculate flawless national treasures they come uh, one uh, after another at the end of the season so people don't really have money to buy all of them. I think it would be like uh, so much better if uh, they would be like evenly spread like so say hoops comes in the beginning of the season you have time to complete the hoops because I haven't completed uh, a lot of my hoops I have completed the base set but not a lot of inserts and uh, that's press proof of 
wait, wait. Oh, so the press proof design. There is no creativity in these designs at all. So yeah, and then in the middle of the season, there would be prism. Because again, I didn't have time to. In the prism, I still haven't even completed uh, the base set yet, and already like uh, Don Russ came. But I hope like for the donors, uh, the base set is usually only 200 cards. So as I'm opening a box, I think last year you were able to complete the box, uh, the base set from the box and uh, Rocky King. All this King series have the same, uh, quite uh, same and very boring design, like an action photo and then a um, clothing photo. The photography is a little bit closer in Donruss than in Prism, but a little bit farther away compared to Prism. Uh, I'm not sure if it's uh, good or bad. Uh, it's, it looks, uh, generally speaking, okay. And again, two Ben Simmons like per box. I'm getting really lucky, although I'm not sure like uh, what is his uh, Donruss Rocky uh, is worth. Uh, this year, apparently, there is no rated Rockies. Last year, like, rated Rockies, like, yeah, were relatively good hits, but uh, this year, uh, I'm, not, uh, I'm not, like, getting them at all. Also, I'm not getting this uh, optic Donruss cards, which were hyped a lot. Keres uh, Levert. I think he was drafted by Indiana, but traded on the draft day to uh, Brooklyn Nets. And, uh, yeah, so it was a long read, but uh, I'm not, a, I should say, I'm not a nearly, I didn't enjoy this read nearly as much as I enjoyed Prism and Hoops, or even like uh, Bas uh, Panini basketball sticker collection this year because uh, the inserts are really boring and uh, yeah yeah like uh, uh, did you hope for queens or aces no it's kings kings like Curver, J. Willis was, uh, James Harden our MVP yeah yeah, overall, uh, I wouldn't recommend, uh, of course, if you have money, like, you could uh, buy this set, but I just don't see any value here, no low, low numbered cards or anything like that. And also, the designs of the base and inserts are super boring. It's... If you ask me, like, hoops this year strictly dominates Don Rust. Uh, if you have like uh, 60 to 70 dollars to drop on a box, just uh, just drop your money on like hoops. There will probably be like retail boxes of uh, Donruss as well, like last year, but uh, overall uh, the hobby inserts are usually better than uh, uh, retail inserts and there is nothing like in particular uh, this year, so... Overall, although I really like this Malik Beasley card, uh, I just uh, wouldn't rec I would strongly recommend hoops of a Donruss this year. Like, uh, but let me know what do you think about Donruss and uh, how do you think it compares to Prism and hoops.